Welcome to the Recreating You game. This is a live course that we delivered between 2018 and 2020. We've now gone on to do a new program that we love called the Smart Soul Experience. But I wanted to put this out there onto YouTube because we had thousands of people that had extraordinary results and I think it's just an amazing program. So I wanted to give it to you guys for free. So here's the deal. Please bring a friend. This is way more fun to do with someone else. Do the days in order. It's supposed to be done day one through day 12. There's a reason for that. It builds on itself. Have a great time and you're going to have amazing ahas about your inner experience. This will cure, yes, cure stress, anxiety, worry, fear, and overwhelm in your life, as well as giving you direction on the next right thing for you to do in every moment. Have a great time. Enjoy the program. Day 12, day 12, our last day together, unless you decide to go further, which I really hope you do, then you'll get to spend a lot more time with me. <laughs> Means a lot to me. We've gone through a lot of great juicy, juicy stuff. Yesterday's beauty exercise was amazing. And um, I know it's not easy for everyone, so keep, for those of you that it's difficult, keep going for it, keep trying it, keep doing it. Um, today, we're going to talk about guilt. Guilt is closing. Mommy guilt, guilt about not being there for aging parents, uh, guilt about taking care of yourself. Guilt in any form, guilt for behavior, is closing. Remorse can be opening. Having remorse where you are remorseful for something can be opening and then you need to take, then you can take action. You'll know because you'll feel remorse and you'll know you need to fix it. And then you call the person, you apologize, you do things. But guilt is just this thing, notice, that just runs around. You just feel it. You don't do anything about it. It's just this suffering, awful, horrible feeling. That's because guilt is programming. Guilt is programming about what it takes to make you a good person or a bad person, a good mom or a bad mom, a good wife or a bad wife, a good husband or a bad husband, a good daughter, a good son, you name it, a good worker, a good whatever, good friend. It's a lie. It's a false belief system about what makes a good or bad person. And so let me tell you, for instance, mommy guilt. A lot of people have, a lot of women have mommy guilt. If you have children, well, I'm here to tell you, your kids chose you. They chose you and you are perfect as you are. In fact, you are exactly what they needed or they would have chose somebody else. This is my belief. I do believe our children choose us before we get here. And as imperfect as we are, we're perfectly imperfect. And we are the perfect person for them. Also, if you chose to work or not work, that's perfect. If you chose to be a great cook or not a great cook, that's perfect. Everything about you, the thing that's not good about you is stressing over being a bad mom. It'd be way better for you to take that energy and get rid of that energy. It'd be way better for you to just understand that it's a waste of time. It's like the, is this any of my business? If you're feeling guilty, stop and be like, no. If you, this is the way you handle guilt. If there is, if, if there is something that you need to do, you do it. So check your IGS. If you need to be spending more time with your kids, if it opens you, spend more time with your kids in that moment. If you need to be working, it will open you to be working, so be working. If you need to take action about something that needs to happen, spending time with an aging parent, if it opens you, spend more time. If it doesn't open you, it's not necessary. It's not yours to do. Anything that you're feeling guilty about, check in. Is there something I need to do about this? Open, close, or neutral. If there's nothing to be done, let it go. Just like, is this any of my business? Let it go. It may be, there's been times when I've been needing to work and I'll put in extra hours on the weekend and it opens me to do so and I'll be tootling along in the office working and then all of a sudden I'll realize, hmm, I'm feeling guilty about not spending time with Declan. Declan's my son. Feeling guilty about not spending time with Declan today. Is it time to go home? I'll check in. If it opens me, then I pack up my stuff and I head home. There's been times in the evening where I'll, it'll open me to spend time with him. I'll do a bunch of stuff, Legos or whatever, and then I'll stop and I'll be like, it opens me that I need to go do something else, clean the house, make dinner, do something that's not related to him. The key is, is it's like even getting out of bed in the morning can be a guilt provoking event. You're laying in bed. I call it the critic and the child. The critic's like, get out of bed, you need to work, you need to work out, you promised you'd get out of bed early, blah, blah, blah. And the child's like, no, let me lay in bed, I'm tired. I don't want to go and get up, it's warm. 
get out of bed. So what happens is, is if you notice what this is the problem with guilt, if you lay in bed, your critic yells at you, Wah, you're useless. You were said you're going to do this and you're not. And if you, if you get out of bed, then your child's like, I want to be in bed. I'm tired. It's dark. It's miserable. I don't like this. I don't want to get out of bed. If you use your IGS, this is awesome. Lay there and go, is it, imp- is it, should I, is it okay for me to lay in bed? Open, close or neutral? Open. <sighs> lay in bed and enjoy it. Cause tomorrow morning you may have to get out of bed. And if your critic says anything, say no. Opening is what's right for me. I'm open to lay in bed. Enjoy it. If you get out of bed, because it opens you saying, no, I got to get out of bed. Your IGS knows these things. It's all about being a conductor of divine timing. If it opens you to get out of bed, then when your child's like, I don't want to get out. I never get to do anything I want to do. No, it opens me. I've got stuff to do today. I need to get out of bed. Get out of bed. It'll open you to get out of bed. Go with your your critic or your champion, depending on your relationship with the critic can be either way. They're both good or bad. They're not, you know, they can both be good or bad depending. But the key is, is if it opens you to get out of bed, get out of bed with gusto and go forth with your day. And it's the same thing. Use this internal guidance system as like a traffic cop sharing with you where you should be going next. Go that way, do this instead. Okay. You know, that kind of thing. So as you're going through your day, when you feel guilt, stop and be like, is there something at really go there? Is there something I should be doing different? Open, close or neutral. What is it? And then do it and get on with it. And don't allow this nagging guilt to to, to deflate you and have you feel bad about yourself and and hurt your relationship. Because what ends up happening is when you indulge in guilt, you can't be present for what you are doing in the moment. When you indulge in guilt, you can't be present. So even when you're with your kid, you're stressed about work. Even with your, with your parent, you're stressed that you should be doing something else. Even it's just constant. There's a constant distraction from being fully present. And let me tell you, that is the most important thing is to be fully present and available and aware. This is our last day. Guilt is a useless emotion. It's based on old programming. It's not true. And your play of the day is, is when day 12, It's been an amazing experience, huh? When you get guilt thrown at you, check. Is there something else? Is this, is this, am I doing what's right for me right now? Open, close, or neutral. And then make your decisions from there. Handle it immediately. Don't just go into this miserable, ruminating state. It's a waste of energy. Be action oriented. Ah. So I'll talk to you soon, I hope. And Go forth. I am sending you love and blessings, and I hope you have an amazing day today. Okay? Bye. Have an amazing day today. Thank you so much for doing the Recreating You game. I hope you're having extraordinary ahas already. People have from day one. And so no matter where you are in the game, there's amazing things that you're learning about yourself and the power that lies within you. If you would like to have your questions answered, please put them in the comments below. We do our best to get back to comments or so does our, our members <laughs> and our students. They love to go ahead and, and support people in learning to use their IGS. You are welcome to email us at support at smartsoul.com to get more details deeply into the programs, or you can go to smartsoulacademy.com if you already know you want to jump in and learn how to master this extraordinary thing that you were born with, your internal guidance system. There you'll find 16 programs that lead you through all areas of your life and weekly group coaching with me so that we can work on your specific issues and supporting you and getting aligned with your purpose, your prosperity, and peace. That's smartsoulacademy.com, and it's all available to you for $25 a month. I know, amazing. You can afford this less than Starbucks each week. Come check it out. SmartSoulAcademy.com.